What's up everybody? Welcome to Rotor Riot Workbench. I'm Les FlyRC and today we're going to talk about propeller direction. When installing your propellers or props on your quadcopter, it's important to install them in the correct orientation. The first thing we need to identify on the prop to ensure we are installing it correctly is its top and bottom. The top of the prop almost always has numbers, letters, or other symbols embossed on it. Here are some examples. This is an HQ Juicy J37 and this is a Jamfan Hurricane. Next we need to identify its leading and trailing edges. The leading edge is usually less sharp and more rounded than the trailing edge and it will be connected to the top of the mounting hub. The trailing edge is usually sharp and attached to the bottom of the hub. Once you have identified the top, bottom, leading and trailing edges of your prop, you can determine the direction they are intended to spin. The top of the prop should always face the direction of forward flight and the prop will always be rotating with its leading edge in front. This is the top, this is the leading edge, and this prop will spin in this direction. Now that we know the intended direction that the props should spin, we need to determine where they will mount on the quadcopter. In a normal quadcopter, there are two prop direction configurations that can be used, props in or props out. Props in is also known as regular and props out is also known as reversed. This diagram shows the two configurations. A very important safety tip is to never have your props installed while checking prop direction and never have them installed while plugged into a computer and a battery simultaneously. A good way to remember this is two out of three. You can have props and battery, props and USB, or battery and USB, but never all three at the same time, and you will be building safely. To verify all your motors are spinning the proper direction, you can use Betaflight to see which direction each motor is spinning. Open Betaflight, plug in your flight controller, and navigate to the Motors tab. If you would prefer the motors spinning with the props in configuration, double check that the motor direction is reversed selector switch is unchecked and set to props in or regular configuration, and vice versa. Betaflight 4.3 and later versions have a resource to help with motor direction. Click the motor direction button and follow the steps to ensure your motors are spinning the direction that matches your diagram. Again, be sure your props are off for this step. Plug in your battery and click I understand. I like to check my motors individually, so we're going to click the button that says individually. Click each motor number one at a time, and if it is spinning the wrong direction, click the reverse button or normal button to change it. Click close once all motors are spinning the correct direction. When you install your props, be sure to install them in the correct orientation. Here is an example of the props being installed in the props in configuration. Be sure to press your props all the way down until they meet flush with the top of the motor bell. And here is an example of props being installed in the props out configuration. When installing your prop nuts, it is important to use a proper tool to ensure they are installed tightly. If your prop nuts are too loose, they will slip in flight and cause stability problems. Always be sure to thread on your nuts finger tight to ensure you're not cross-threading them. Then use your tool to torque them down. I like to hold the prop and arm in my hand like this to ensure that I get proper torque on the prop nut. If you're having a hard time getting grip on your motors, a battery strap works well to improve the grip on your motors. Simply wrap the gummy battery strap around your motor, hold it in place, and tighten the prop. There is debate among the community as to which configuration is better, and there are three main reasons people usually argue props in or props out. Performance, crash prevention, and debris trajectory. Let's talk performance. It has been argued that drones with smaller props tend to have a performance advantage by having the props spin outwards in the props out configuration. The claim is that the yaw washout is reduced on smaller drones such as Tiny Whoops and Cine Whoops. It has also been argued that it doesn't matter as much with today's more powerful tiny motors. Crash prevention is mentioned a lot when pilots express which configuration they chose. Many racers believe that the props out configuration helps them to bounce off of gates rather than getting sucked in 
and many freestyle pilots would argue that they would just as easily get sucked into tree branches from the sides. Debris trajectory is the third argument pilots use when determining props in or props out. Pilots that do a lot of beach flying prefer props out so that the particles of sand do not damage the camera lens. Some freestyle pilots argue that there will be a stronger possibility of a sandblasted camera lens while turtle moting upside down in the dirt with a props out configuration. The props reverse direction during turtle mode and with props out configuration, the props would fling the sand towards the camera while trying to flip back over. The argument being that there's a lower probability of sand being flung towards the camera while in flight. Thanks for watching guys. Let us know in the comments if you fly props in or props out and why you chose that configuration. Let me know if I left any reasons out and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this. See you next time on Rotor Riot Workbench.